Okay, today I'm going to go over the twin injector unit that uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on lately. Um, the, this is the unit that I've been using in the last few videos, and uh, it's got a lot of questions. I want to clear up some, a few things. Um, it's a twin injector unit built by uh, BassTackle.com. Um, this uh, it comes. This is the whole unit right here. It comes with an adapter and two two injectors that are attached together with the crossbars. The adapter is nothing more than two channels running down to the sprue to feed the sprue on the injection molds. And uh, the the plastic actually does not mix until it actually gets into the sprue. So everything in this unit right here, you can actually remelt and use again. It's held together with a wing nut, pretty simple. And the twin injector, actual twin injector unit is uh, is two three ounce injectors and uh, gives you a total of six ounces. That's a lot of plastic. Um, if you've got a lot of molds, that's, that's uh, probably not enough, but uh, I don't have a lot of molds. I have a lot of variety. I just don't have a lot of single cavities go together. It comes with the crossbar uh, to hold the barrels together and the crossbar to hold the plungers together. Um, it also comes in a 6 ounce unit which is basically just a longer barrel and uh, I purchased these separately and this way I can use my adapters over here if I want to use the large unit um, but this is a lot of plastic. 6 ounces is a lot, 12 ounces is definitely a lot of plastic. So uh, not used very much, uh, but they also can be used as injectors just by themselves. This is actually a six ounce injector right here. They all feature a locking tip. They have a pin on there that locks the tip on so it does not fall off in the plastic when you go to evacuate your plastic back into your Pyrex or your Presto pot. Um, this way you don't have to go fishing it out. Um, got round rubber rubber grips on the, on the top. Uh, Makes it really nice, really sturdy. Um, nice unit, just uh, really well made. That's the six ounce unit. Now, uh, this unit here is actually designed so that uh, you could pick up your two colors uh, at the same time. So you don't have to be messing around with one injector and trying to fill the other one while the other one's getting hard. Uh, you basically do it at the same time. Now, I've got my plastic here and uh, I'm going to need to put that in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Let me uh, take this out here, put that in the microwave while we uh, get our mold set up. Put this in. Thirty seconds. This is where I usually have the twin injectors, I have the plastic, I have the molds, and it kind of moves, moves down the line. So I'm going to set the molds up over here. This is this is two four cavity molds. They're not the same molds. One's a craw mold uh, from Bass Tackle, a, a craw 702, I believe it is, and the other is the fat body winged hog. Um, another four cavity unit um, works really well. They've got them side by side. They're wing nut uh, wing nut held together, but I actually put these clamps on here to make it easier for me. So I got my plastic buzzing over here. Let's see. See what we got for the plastic. Plastic looks good there. That color does. And that color does as well. Now let's I'll take you through the sequence that I do. Um, you have to uh, if you have a top and bottom to these molds, you have to make sure you orient the, the top and the bottom. Basically this color is gonna go in this side of the mold and the green's gonna go on the other side of the mold on both molds. So this is what I do. I put my adapter on. I have my injectors over here. I, for some reason, I always seem to cycle it first to make sure there's nothing in there. I'm going to stick it in the plastic here. I'm going to take out as much as I can. I'm going to fill them all the way up. Now I'm going to run them right over here to the adapter. Set them down on the adapter and inject. It stops. I can feel pressure. Now I'm going to lift. Bring it over to the other mold and inject. Same thing, make sure the mold's filled up. Take this off, eject the last amount of plastic. That was about the maximum amount of plastic right there because there's really nothing that came out of there. So 
So I'm going to set this aside over here. Now these were cold when I did it, so it's going to be really easy to take this apart and clean this out. I'll show you the, the results of this in here. There's actually the two pieces not mixed at all. And what I'll do is I'll take this one out, put it in this Pyrex, this one out, and put it in this Pyrex, and I'll remelt that later and use it again. Put the wing nut back on, ready to go. Over here on the twin injectors, I'll pull these little caps off. This one's not as big, the other one was on the other mold. Now we've got our locking pins. What I do is I twist, twist, I put them both in my hands, and I push. Put this unit aside, I've got them both holding in my hand, I pull one out. Throw it in that can, the cup, the other one, put it in the cup, bring my injectors back, lock it in, and it's ready to go. Now by this time, especially on cold molds, I should be able to drop my clamps down, get rid of that green, and I'll be able to take and separate my molds. And do it so you can see it in the camera. Basically, there's you got that one there. I pull it off and turn it over. You got the purple on the other side. Take that out, set it aside, put my mold back together, put it back in the same way I took it out. Take the other one and do the same thing. Got the green on that side and the purple on the other. Set that aside. Put my mold back together. Set it back up. Lift up my clamps. Clamp again. Clamp again. Now my next sequence would be actually to put the adapter to go back on. Set it right there. Go back over to the plastic. Suck up more plastic and go back and do it again and keep on going till you run out of plastic. Now uh, this this unit here um, once you get used to it which there's not really much of a learning curve because of the way it's designed it makes it pretty easy but you can get a really good 50-50 bait. That bait right there is 50-50 even on the little arms here it's 50-50 on the tails if you look at this, the side view of it, it is actually 50-50 on the tails too. So it's not just it's not just the big parts, it's actually the whole bait. Let me pull the, one of the craw molds out. There you go, and the craw on the, the actual claws on it, you can actually, see, hopefully you can see it's 50-50 all the way down. The little arms, everything, the tentacles out in the front are the same way. The green on one side and purple on the other. Uh, I hope that clears up a few things. Uh, really great unit. Uh, it takes a lot of molds to use a six ounce. So if you buy the six ounce, I know it's not much money more, but boy, that's uh, that's a big unit. Um, BassTackle.com is where you get them. Uh, Kevin will take care of you. He's uh, put a lot of thought in this uh, system, and uh, I really want to thank him. I appreciate it. And uh, good luck on your laminate baits. Till next time.